Back here at the arena in San Juan, Volleyball Central. Most people predicted that this would go five, at least four. That it would be impossible for either team to sweep each other. And that's what happened. After you showing some character down the stretch when things got a little tense, and That's right. But, you know, we saw the energy kick in at some point in, in the third set. We mentioned that, uh, you know, it's very different. You now see the girls uh, smiling. And uh, on top of that, Takita Moren, when it comes to offense, Bini Bigay had Kasama Bahay at Dupa, particularly Vargas. We saw a lot of good attacks there. Yulalio as well took Rojas. on the responsibility. Uh. Rojas, you know. But, uh, yun na, eh. they had a few lapses in that set. But even the breaks of the game actually went the way of FEU. Yep. And uh, set number three. Goes to FEU, 25-23. So now it's two sets to one. Lady Eagles who are looking for three straight victories. After they lost to the defending champions, will have to go through another one. And uh, are now obviously awoken. And we got a game opponent here in FEU. Multi-talented, multi-titled coach also. And now momentum is on, on their side. Let's see how Ateneo will respond. Boom Gonzalez, together with Andrew Mulia. Nico Ramos, Bea Coronel reporting for Ateneo, uh, for FEU and Ateneo, respectively. Some numbers, and Wow, if you look at the attacks, boom, you'll see that uh, the Lady Eagles actually had more 17 as compared to only 11 of the Lady Tamaraos. Pero what made the difference was the unforced errors. FU had five, while Atene went back again to its previous levels, double digit yes. at 10. And then, it, it doesn't hurt that FU had three uh, service points, mm -hmm. none for Ateneo, it's, you know what they say, it's free points. You know, if you can score that way and not go through the whole trouble of setting up, even better. And uh, they had three more than Ateneo. And remember, the disparity was 25-23. So those were three more service points. So but it's crucial. It was you, Vargas Nangigel. 2-1, Jem Ferrer. Two-time best setter, last two years. Jim Ferrer for Ateneo. The Isabella native serving. Carvacho goes to Valdez down the line. Just see so what's there to dig. One more chance here for Ateneo. Let's see, Nakachi this time. But Giselle C again didn't even have to move. Vargas adjusts. Lazaro is there. Ferrer opens up to Valdez. Valdez off speed. Oh, Giselle C with a pancake dig. Oh, but somebody oh. touched the net and it was Rojas. Let's check in with Nico Ramos. And so is Coach Nes Pamilar. Sabi niya, blocking lang ang problema natin. Let's focus on blocking in this set. Uh, assistant Coach Jack De Los Santos said, Girls, masyadong mataas ang blocking natin. I know you guys are being aggressive. Tinan natin, uh, you guys are pouring out all your energy. Pero basahin nyo kung sino ang binablock nyo. Minsan, masyadong malakas ang talon. Kaya nakakalusot ang mga attacks ng kalaban. And uh, he was also talking to his girls saying, na ang focus natin ngayon ay completing the comeback. We've already taken their best shot and we've seen and we've proven that we can win a set. Let's do it again. Boom. And another service point. An ace from FU. Thank you, Nico Ramos, reporting for FU. Speaking of blocks, again, for the third straight set, it didn't really mm -hmm. make a difference. It's 1-1. Didn't come into play, but <laughs> pero yun, eh, tama yung reminders and kanina of the coaching staff of FU. It's not just all about jumping as high as you can. Mm -hmm. It's really about the timing. It's really about the uh, uh, reading the attacker. And, and maybe just to jump on Nico's point is the fact that maybe we should make the blocks matter now mm -hmm. because it hasn't mattered in the first three sets. Let's go to Bea Coronel from the other side now, Bea. Well, this is exactly what Coach Roger was worried about. At all the more, what he did not want to happen, and that was a semi-relaxed Lady Eagle squad. And he said, hindi na nga kayo gumag-uusap, hindi pa tayo gumagalaw. Okay? And he motioned his girls to communicate and use the floor. Now, finally, he had reached their errors to mental lapses. So he prompted them to forget about the previous set, make wiser decisions, and to just focus on finishing the game at this set. Woman and Thank you, Bea. The whole third set, Ateneo was playing on the back foot. Mm -hmm. First two sets, they were always in the lead. 
Now it's the same uh, situation for them. So let's see how they play this third set. Fourth set, rather. Four touches for FEU. 6-3. Oh, now it is FEU on the back Six. foot this time. Chelsea trying to calm down her teammates. Nakachi with a good serve. Baniel. And another offensive block this time. Ho and Hervasho collaborating for that one. I think this will go to Hervasho though. Yes, it is. Hervasho is seventh in the league in that department. Oh, that's still good. Free ball though. Giselle C quickly to Eulalio and she puts it away. First option for C is Eulalio in the middle. Perfect. Four serving seven. Final game for the year 2011. Christmas break is upon us. Back line. C, back set. Somebody touched the net and it's from the Ateneo side. It's from this. Giving away a free point to FEU. Service, Vargas. Vargas with another good serve. Good play. They weren't able to execute it. That was too low for Bagang. So, 8-5. Ateneo in the lead by three. Let's take this timeout. Step aside. Back in a moment. Ateneo leading two sets to one, also eight to five here in the fourth set. Second game of our Wednesday doubleheader, final game of the year. We return again January 7, and both these teams see action right away after the Christmas break. FU in the first game against NU, and Ateneo in the second game against AEU, or Adamson University, who won in five sets, coming from behind earlier today against NUFU, trying to do the same now. Great attack there. Ferrer was there. Phil, it's too low. That's a rare approach for her, a one-legged approach. Normally, you would see her make sure that she has enough time to take on the approach. And for the first time, Coach Roger makes a substitution. Phil Kainglet, who was in the front line, moves out for Ella De Jesus. A surprise move maybe to give her a little bit of a break. She's been going at it since the first set. Maybe to change things up also. Just to surprise this FEU squad. Let's see how it pans out. Bagang. Easy take by Lazaro. And they go right away to Ella. There's always a force. Ferrer keeps it up. Overset. Eulalio unable to put it away though. Back to Ella. Eulalio in the middle. And Gretchen unable to block it. So now, down three. FU sneaks behind. And is only down by one. Taneo has not scored yet since the technical timeout. Now the blocking is coming into play for FEU. Oh, great dig by Lazaro. Agno. Bagang. Oh, that one is too long. And no spin. So the ball not dropping at all. As Ateneo maintains a 9-7 to seven lead. The Batangueña Zihar Vasho. I know some students go back to their, their provinces, though, during the Christmas break. During huh? the Christmas break, they So do. the ones who live in the dorm in their schools. 
but at the same time, I think may training pa rin. I think there's uh, still ongoing training. Low serve by the product of St. Scholasticus. We're giving a free point to FPU as Basas will march back in here in the fourth set. Eight serving ten. Eight serving ten. When you Lalio. Best player of the game against Adamson, Winneth Eulalio, who is at number 13 of our best scorers in the league so far. Jesus off the block. Too much power. That's her third attack, and they're always going through the block. He's challenging the blockers, and mind you, Jesus didn't even ask for some time to warm up <laughs> inside the court. Pagpasok, sabak na. Ready ka na dapat kagad. She's got a lot of muscle behind that swing of hers. Lead is three. Basas again over the block. Ferrer goes for the second touch at nagkahiyaan ng FEU. Ferrer has been a master of that since her rookie year. She has always loved that. Look at that pick. Look at how she hid that. What we like about it is that you would think that she is going to uh, set the ball, but last minute changes and you know puts the ball over. Ferrer again. Again, Jesus on an off speed this time. Free ball for Ateneo. Combination play through the block once again. Rojas this time. Somebody hit the net. Referees didn't see it. Jesus sends it cross court. Basas. Ferrer, long, open. De Jesus, cross court. Vargas was there for the dig. Easy take for Hervasho. They go back to Ella. Disguises her approach and gets the point. And Agno, who's been all over the place, just a split second too late for the pancake dig. Look at this, right in the middle. Two inches. Last championship of FEU was in 2008, and he was the man who delivered it from behind, come from behind. Adamson with a 1-0 lead in the series. They win the next two to win the ta championship in 2008. Coach Nes Pamilar, this is the same deficit that FEU had in set number one. Let's see how they respond. Easy take. Running oh. attack. Puts it away, Rojas, Major Rojas. Nine, One of uh, the few times that it, you would actually see a running attack going the opposite direction. Yeah, look at that swing. Look at how she wound up. It's like her hand was going somewhere we didn't mm -hmm. want it to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> flexible. The angle is different. <laughs> An acute, very acute angle. Quick to Nakachi, that's sent back. Ferrer, great coverage by Basas that time. Checked on the net, Nakachi, no, referee says, nope, actually it's a net block. 49. Five-point lead. 